Hello and welcome back to Slowly We Go. If you're new here, my name's Lila and I've put together something a little bit special this week. I've made, out of request, a mini series all about Waldorf. And if you don't know what Waldorf is, it is a educational philosophy. And I just wanted to share with you some things from my perspective, why we've chosen the Waldorf education, how to create Waldorf atmosphere within your home, even if you're not going to be following it as a curriculum, three steps to get started straight away with the Waldorf education, and how you could implement these things on a budget. I think the question why we homeschool is a very different question which I could totally make another video about. That's not going to be part of this mini series because that is a that could be a big video guys. I've got a lot of reasons why we decided to homeschool even before we had Lavelle. It was a decision we spoke about as a couple. Why we've chosen to follow the Waldorf philosophy is what I'm going to be delving into in this video. <sighs> Where to start? So if you don't know, the Waldorf education or philosophies was brought about by a guy called Rudolf Steiner. So you might have heard the term Steiner more so than the word Waldorf. Waldorf was just the first Steiner school, uh, that was the name of it, and the word has just caught on. And so you might hear Waldorf, you might hear Steiner, and it technically is the same thing. If you want to learn more after these videos, just dive deep into his works, guys, because he is one cool dude, and he's got a lot of information, books, lectures, all sorts of information out there that will keep you very busy. In terms of like why we as a family like this philosophy is you, once I start talking you will realise there is big links between these philosophies and slow living and obviously you know we are all about slow living, it is the main topic around my channel, it's something that I feel very passionate about sharing with parents and mothers and this society right now because I truly believe it's going to benefit all of us so side by side with that I feel Waldorf philosophies hold a lot of peace, a lot of calm, a lot of warmth, a lot of nurturing and I think a lot of these traits are important to raising the next society. Obviously there's so many different educational avenues you can go down and each will fit different families very well. So for us, this fit very well. It fit with our um, outlook on life, our morals. When we started to read about it, it already suited what we believed in. So it was like, oh gosh, perfect fit. Waldorf believes hugely in educating through the hand, heart and head and linking these all together and teaching the full being so not just spieling a load of information at a child it's about nurturing all aspects of this little person and honoring the fact that they are a much a much wider being than just their head they ha have heart they are emotional beings and they need to integrate their hands as well and honouring that all children are different, they all learn different ways and it's about tuning into that individual child and teaching in a way that best suits them and it's coming to the child rather than having the child meet you where you are with the information, it's about going to the child and meeting them where they are. For me as well there's just this massive focus on magic and preserving a childhood and preserving the innocence and keeping children in this. Steiner talks about a dreamlike state uh, up until the age of seven, showing your child reverence in the world. So what that kind of means is appreciation and being in awe of something. And the Waldorf philosophy really encompasses this. Obviously we have to be role models and show our children that it you know, we have reverence in the world and therefore the child will pick up on that and they will mirror that. And there's so many things through the kindergarten phase and the curriculum, it's all about reverence of the world around you, honouring the world around you, learning through the natural world. And we have really connected with that because we're very big on gratitude and 
slowing down, seeing the beauty in everything. And this just connected perfectly with that. We need our children to love the world first and be in awe of it if we want them to, you know, contribute to protecting it in the future. You, know, you can't really bombard young children with all the things that are wrong with the world and the plastic pollution and climate change and all this because that will create an aversion. They need to fall in love with it first and you do that through gratitude and reverence. There is a big focus on storytelling and song, especially in the kindergarten years and it is becoming a lost art of storytelling. I was very fortunate to grow up with my nana around me who is a pro storyteller absolute pro storyteller and so I grew up with that I grew up with that magic and I know what that did for my creativity and I know what it did for my imagination as a child and I wanted to recreate that regardless of stumbling across world of and I have noticed through in implementing that Lavella does learn best through stories and she does learn best through songs and it's amazing the amount she's picked up it's quite unbelievable really that something so simple can have such a profound effect on children. We all know the young children love nursery rhymes, but take that one step further. Sing a lot, all kinds of topics. Sing about all things you're doing in the day. We know children love storybooks. Take that one step further and have spoken storytelling with eye contact, with warmth, with love, and it goes in deep. It is remembered and it is felt and it is learned on a much deeper level with the slower pace it brings you down to the child's pace and there's this encompassing feeling of not rushing the child which we see a lot in everyday society now you know we're rushing them through these milestones for what reason we don't need to rush these young children young children you know babies learn how to crawl and they learn how to walk and we don't teach them th those things and somewhere along the line we then disregard children as being able to learn at their pace we don't judge a slow walker and we don't judge a fast walker but when they start schools and they're in classes and grades somewhere along the line we start judging the timeline of these milestones and what I love about Waldorf is it's meeting your child at and trusting your child's pace that they are becoming the person that they are supposed to be the person is coming out of them we are just nurturing them and we are seeing the person that they were always supposed to be we are not dictating the person that they are going to be we are not suppressing their interests we are being led by their interests and there's a sense of comfort and calm around that and the child will feel that and they can lean into their passions and they can lean into their interests knowing that that is good and that there isn't this alternative dictate of life that you know they they have to follow and for me i find that so important I feel like we all have callings and the art of noticing a child's calling is becoming a bit lost where the educational system is so samey samey. Alongside the storytelling and the singing there's a big emphasis on creativity and the arts and this is again where the hands, heart and head all working simultaneously come in again and Steiner believed that the arts was a bridgeway between the physical reality and the spiritual realm and it really just gives learning a deeper level to a child when they're able to have that creative expression throughout the subjects and throughout the topics it just seems to ingrain a lot deeper there are studies done regardless of Waldorf showing that children with creative outlets often are mentally a lot more calmer and a lot more at peace when they have that time for expression daily and sometimes it, you don't get that in schools or you know with some curriculum I just feel it's so important to have that creative outlet daily and Waldorf really encompasses this especially when you get onto the grades as well you know the main workbooks are all these expressions of art no matter what the subject English math it's all expressed in a very artistic way and I think the child takes a lot of pride over that Something we talk about on this channel a lot is rhythm and this is this is definitely something that is ingrained in the Waldorf philosophy. You see it a lot in actual Waldorf schools and kindergartens. This way of breathing in and breathing out and you know the fact that we are spiritual beings, we are not just these physical bodies 
designed to sit on a chair and receive all this information continuously throughout the day bombarded that makes a child exhausted so there's this focus on breathing in and breathing out the breathing in is the absorbing of information it's the taking in it's the learning it's the connecting with the with the information and the breathing out is the downtime the free play the outside nature play the singing the dancing and both of these aspects are needed but regularly throughout the day so a rhythm would be designed whether it's at home or whether it is in the schools and the kindergartens it's designed to help the child with the ebbs and flows is to nurture that spiritual being and to acknowledge that you know we need that rest time to then be at our to be able to absorb our full capacity when it comes to an in-breath so there is just so much thought behind these little people and I just love that they are honoured in such a way that everything is designed around nurturing and warmth towards the child and honouring the person that they are and are to become. So these are only just some of the reasons why I love Waldorf, why we decided to use Waldorf within the home and education. I would love for you to share your comments down below, whether you have questions, whether you want to share with me your favourite things of why you choose Waldorf. And I could have gone on and on. There are so many more aspects where what I love. Perhaps I'll touch on them more in another video, but I didn't want this video to go on too long because this is a series. So I really hope you enjoyed this little introduction as to why we Waldorf. It might have inspired you and enjoy the rest of the series guys. I shall see you in the next one. Bye!